one night we suddenly went mad together again. We went to see Slim Gilliard in a little Frisco nightclub. Slim Gilliard is a tall, thin Negro with big, sad eyes who's always saying, Oh, Rooney. In Frisco, great, eager crowds of young, semi-intellectuals sat at his feet and listened to him on the piano, guitar, and bongo drums. When he gets warmed up, when he takes off his shirt and undershirt and really goes, he doesn't say anything that comes into his head. He'll sing Cement Mixer, Putty Putty. <laughs> He'll suddenly slow down the beat and brood over the bongos with fingertips barely tapping the skin as everybody leans forward breathlessly to hear. You think he'll do this for a minute or so, but he goes right on for as long as an hour making an imperceptible little noise with the tips of his fingernails, smaller and smaller all the time till you can't hear it anymore. And signs of traffic come in the open door. Then he slowly gets up, very, very slowly. Oruni, Macvauti, Oskuli Rini Mo. How's the boys doing with the girls in the front row? Urinimo. Ovalti. He keeps this up for 15 Max minutes. Kuti. His voice getting softer Oriti. and softer. Oriti. Till you can't hear. His great sad eyes scan the audience. Urinimo. Dean stands in the back saying, God, yes, and clasping his hands in prayer and sweating. Sal, slim knows time. He knows time. Was he? Uh, as, w as we know by now, that was from On the Road. Um, could you tell me a bit about when you first met Kerouac? Well, the first time, Van, that I met uh, Jack Kerouac was in the safe when in San Francisco. He used to come in practically well it was seven days of a week so he was in there eight days a week and he was my very close friend we used to have dinner together i did a lot of cooking and things for him he was very super friend you know that I played a number called Arabian Boogie, but yeah. that was a different end. Different uh, rhythm, what was yeah. the other one? Uh, tip, uh, tip Light. Tip Light, that was a B-side. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, the A-side was Arabian Boogie. Yeah, yeah. But you remember that one. Yeah. But I'll tell you one thing about Jack, Jack Karabak. Everybody don't really understand that he was a really deep into music and a very good listener. Plus, he used to value all of the nice friends from Haight Ashbury because the friends on Haight Ashbury used to make all of the equipment, everything that they sold. They were very artistic. The, the part where he describes where you playing the, the bongos and you go into this slow time, um, what, what was that? Yeah, that was, was that? real, authentic Cuban rhythm. That's my little island that I came from and I just enjoy playing and he enjoyed the music and the customers used to come in and sit down and enjoy themselves 
And I just kept the rhythm going. It was great fun. You never heard me play those kind of rhythms before, did you? No, not that one. 